want my whole life to be shaped by Christ, not just a small part of it. I need God to be in every part of who I am. I want His light to shine so brightly through me that people can't help but notice. Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm the Vice President of the Enrich U of Our Club. I grew up in a Christian home and we did, you know, I grew up going to church every Sunday, going to Sunday school, going to Bible camp, but it wasn't until I was around 13 that I really understood what it meant to live for the Lord. Well, that summer at Bible camp, I rededicated my life to the Lord and then not even a year later, I found out that I needed to have heart surgery to fix a birth defect and that affected every relationship in my life. Some relationships grew stronger and some went downhill and my relationship with the Lord really got stronger during that time. I depended on Him to keep me strong and to give me strength to get through this, those hard times. And then after all of those um, heart troubles went away, my relationship with the Lord kind of sizzled down a little bit. I didn't try as hard as I did then because I didn't need to rely on Him. And I knew I was going to go to Bible school after I graduated high school, so I was like, oh, it'll be fixed in Bible school. But the Bible school I went to put the responsibility in your own hands. And so I went three quarters of the way through my first year of Bible school without picking up my Bible for my own personal use until I realized that, you know, I needed to do something because I wasn't really living a life for the Lord. I was learning about Him, but that's not enough. So after I realized that something needed to change in my relationship with the Lord, I started to work really hard on it. And then when I moved up to Regina to start my degree in nursing, I found a couple of good friends, which was a huge blessing, and we went church hunting and I got involved in a really good church and that's where I spent my first year was a lot of the time at the church and then I met uh, Jordan the leader of Red Frogs and we got connected and now I've got a really good group of people in Red Frogs and now in Rich and I'm really excited to help other people grow in ways that I've grown as well. So my core group is making your faith your own and it's important to me because I struggled with it when I first got out of high school so I think it's a good one for um, first time away from home or for new Christians learning how to develop and build their faith and I'm really excited for this core group because I really want to help meet people and help disciple them and I actually have a journal entry from almost exactly a year ago and I was talking about how school starting and I was I was nervous and I wanted to do something new and I said that I wanted to live for Christ I was doing my devos in Philippians 1 and the verse for me to live is Christ and to die is gain I want my whole life to be shaped by Christ not just a small part of it I need God to be in every part of who I am I want his line to shine, light to shine so brightly through me that people can't help but notice. And I had said that I didn't know right now if people knew that I was a Christian and that I wanted to. And then not even a week later, I got into contact with Jordan. And then a year later, here I am starting a core group on how to make your faith your own. And I think it's just really cool that God really answers prayers. So my core group doesn't have an exact start date right now. I wanted to... Uh, see who all signed up for it and get in contact with them to see their schedule. Meeting from there, I again want to look at the schedules and just find out what days work, but I do want to do one big group meeting once a month and meet one-on-one -on -one with each person throughout the time in between those big meetings and have a continuous chat on Discord or whatever platform we need to use to discuss prayer requests, questions, encouragements, and anything else that 
we need to discuss as a group. So it all depends on scheduling and yeah, but hopefully we will get together and talk about it before the end of September. Mm -hmm.